So music is just timeless, man. Like, there's music that's just timeless. Anyways, before we get to the music, um, attention all Ghanaian moviegoers. Um, it's that time of the year again to be wowed by the entertainment um, of Ghana's number one cinematic franchise, Silverbird Cinemas. This Ember season, catch the best of action, adventure, comedy, romantic comedy, um, thrillers, and more at the West Hills and Accra Mall branches. See Expendables 4, Wonka's Coming, Aquaman, The Lost Kingdom. Can't wait to see that. Marvel's Paw Patrol, and many other global blockbusters complemented by Ghana's number one popcorn. Hollywood, Nollywood, Bollywood, and authentic Ghanaian content um, comes alive at Silverbird cinemas now if you want showing times sponsorships um to get vouchers for a friend family or a loved one all you have to do is call any one of these two numbers 0544-310140 or 059-399-7086 or visit their websites silverbirdcinemas.com forward slash west hills and silverbirdcinemas.com forward slash Accra. Silverbird Cinemas, um, it's all about entertainment. And yes, that's what they are about. Whenever they're here, you know, you know, you know. I mean, I have a man of friend in the studio. What kind of movies do you enjoy the most? Oh, I love, I love comedy movies. Romantic comedy with the ladies. Yeah. No, no, no. Romantic really? Comedy. Like, I want Don't to laugh. Don't lie, no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to laugh, baby. Oh, welcome, man. Thank you so much. It's good to have you here. You it's so always much. a blessing talking to you. Me and this guy go way, 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 way back. Way, way back. So, you know, these <laughs> conversations are very, you know, um, heartwarming for myself mm -hmm. you know it's always good to see someone you've known for the longest doing well you know physically whether spiritually emotionally mm -hmm. career-wise and this is one guy who's always stayed true to his craft um Ofe, Bro. now your fans they love your music mm -hmm. they miss you God, and you have a lot of explaining to do <laughs> <laughs> so right. much I like a lot right. of explaining but um one thing i know is and it breaks my heart to start on this note um not too long ago you lost your father. Yeah, bro. Um, I'm sure that wasn't an easy thing to deal with. Yeah, um, yeah, I know yeah. it's not an easy thing to talk about, but trust me. Yeah, as as a young man, right, following your dreams and all these things, you know, having parents who believe in you and then losing a father. I I just want to know how was that period for you, and was that the reason why you took a little break from music? Um, well, I I took the break before this whole thing happened. I mean, he has, okay. he's always been like. Um, when am I coming back? When am I dropping something new? Like That's your time, father. Yeah, every oh, time man. like um, I'm, I'm having an interview, he sits behind the TV. He tell me, look, this uncle is here. This auntie is here. We're all oh, watching you. Oh, man. And, yeah, um, the feeling, I, I just can't explain it. I, I can only say I don't wish that for anybody. Yeah. Like, yeah, but it's, it's, it makes you a man, you know? It makes, yeah. it makes you realize that now you're a man. You're, you're there for the family now. And... Uh, the senior is gone, now you are taking his place. Yeah. And yeah, you have an angel in the skies as well, watching yeah. you. So yeah. I know by this time, like, I mean, he's doing all he can yeah. to make sure that things are going. I mean, it's, it's, it's very, it's, it's a cool thing for me, you know, mm -hmm. to, to hear that you had that relationship with your father. One thing I always say is, young men, as much as young women, need strong, responsible fathers Father. in their lives. You know, yeah. we should never, under any circumstance, undermine the importance yeah. of a good father, you know, discipline-wise, mm -hmm. supporting, protecting, providing, and Most it's good right. to hear this. Um, and right. to, to, to hear that also you're taking that mantle to protect and provide for yeah. your family. Yeah. I can only say, you know, um, the best Thank to you, you so and much, your bro. family. Now, dealing with that publicly also mm -hmm. mustn't have been easy, man. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't an easy feat. Um, I mean, pressure from family, pressure from industry, pressure from your career, everything yeah. that you're doing. Like, you just, you just have to take a pause and just, like, you know, restructure, rethink. Because there was a whole lot that happened even prior to my break. And I realized I had to really find myself and my sound. Mm. I mean, you've known me for a very yeah. long time. You've known me from when I was playing guitar yeah. to singing to yeah. on the balcony. Swinging all the ladies. <laughs> yeah, so, you, you know. know <laughs> you get to, and like right now, it's like um, we did, we delved into the whole Afro beat, Afro pop vibe. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah, the sonics are still good, but we still, I still had to like tailor stuff. So even though I took some time off, I was still in the studio with my producers. Oh, okay. I was still in the studio with songwriters. Everybody just trying to you know put things in place. So yeah, the EP is ready, oh. and I just I just I just have to say I'm <laughs> nice. sorry. I'm so sorry for taking to my fans. I'm so sorry for taking such a long hiatus yeah. break. But I'm back. The things that you went through did they almost dissuade you from the music? 
Yeah, almost, almost. But wow. you know, the thing is, um, your passion is always your passion. Bro, like, before the cameras came on, you were even telling me about your first interview and yeah. how you left the... Yeah. That's, that, that, you know that has been us, like, yeah. in uni. Like, we literally had a studio in our rooms. You yeah. know, you get it. And um, me being a kolibu, being a med medical laboratory scientist, like, uh, a science student, and I wasn't even really going to class that much. Mm. So there's always something that draws you back to yeah. the music. Even though you put your delve into the whole your career, your path, mm -hmm, but then mm -hmm. music still draws you. So nice. um, I, I thought of giving up. But wow. Yeah, I thought of giving up, but the music and the fans, like, trust me, you go yeah. online and some of the DMs you see are so heartwarming and so yeah. motivational. Eh? Like, your head goes here. Yeah, <laughs> bro, because again, this is a guy who lives and breathes music. So, you know, to go through these things. Um, so now, okay, you take this period off. You dropped new music two weeks ago. Yes. Right? Yes. Um, <laughs> what's the feeling like um, before you come to drop this music? Because, again, so many ups and downs so before you actually put the content out there. Mm -hmm. Now, the content is for the people. Mm -hmm. you, you might be thinking, oh, what are they going to think? Are they, are they going to still want, you know, fans yeah, always yeah. say, I want the old you, yes, I want that, you know. Yes, and, yes. and music is constantly, so changing. to speak, changing. I was speaking to Ink Boy, yeah. and he was speaking about Afro Rave and Afro Fusion and all these little things. So what's that period like for you? A, let me say a month, two weeks before you actually drop the music, taking that long break away. Um, well... Honestly, I was nervous, very, very, very nervous. Um, I'd never felt nervous like that before. Wow. Yeah, because, you know, every, like, I mean, you drop music. Every time you're about to drop music, you start thinking about a few things. Hey, what if it doesn't go? Yeah, and that's even just like a normal. Like. That's a normal. <laughs> but this time around, I was like, hey, Ophir, you've taken, like, two, almost two years off, and you're coming back, and you're coming back with this particular sound. You know, people know the high pitch, you know, lovey-dovey mm -hmm, affair. Mm -hmm. But this particular song is more like I have a low tone and like I'm being all naughty in there. And I was like, the, but the bounce, though. Like, we loved the bounce when we made mm. it. And it was like one of the earliest songs I recorded when I was in my most depressed state. Oh. So, like, that, that, like, got me because I had a long year of, like, writer's block where I couldn't do anything. Wow. And this particular song... I remember the day we recorded it, I was asleep. I woke up and my producer was producing. So it was like, it, this EP has been like 2020 because Corona time, we're all locked up. Yeah. And then I just woke up and the beat was playing. I was like, yo, this is different. And then I did it. So I realized now, um, God being so good, my fans are not so much of, they, they, they are like fluid, you know? They, they, mm. they listen to all kinds of music. So... I was like, no, let's try this because the listenership has now widened. Yeah. And a lot of people are now listening to songs you know you've been thinking yeah. about. Like your, your nearest <laughs> mate, right? Like driver's mate has like all of me or something as the ringtone. Yeah. Like you get it's like the music is not really entering. So now nah, let's just give it out. That was all I just thought about. And I mean, big shout outs to um, TME Music, mm. um, the entire team, uh, Mission, and everyone. They, they they actually enabled me, you get it, because they heard the EP and were like, look, I played it to a lot of people. They were interested, but these guys came in and were like, look, you know what, let's put this out, let's shoot a video for it, let's put something mm. behind it, let's make sure it goes. So they drag, dra dragged me out, yeah. that's my team, like, I know everyone, all these guys, Wagon, everyone that's been on my team. Like, the, everybody was just like, well, let's just put the song out and then give them the EP. Mm. There are more solid songs even on the EP. Yeah, yeah. wow, <laughs> that's, that's, that's interesting, man. But you know, no matter what we talk about and how we explain these things, um, the answer is always in the music. Yes, always right? in the music. So this is the answer um, for a man who took a break, been through so much, and this guy is super talented, yes. and he's telling me he had writer's block for about a year. <laughs> and that's, that's actually an inspiring thing. You know, this is not something everybody would talk about, yeah. but again, it's, it's inspiring to that person who probably releases music is scared to release, that yeah. person who probably hasn't started releasing music, yeah. right? To hear someone like Ofe, you know? Um, so enjoy the music, tell me what you think, we'll be right back. Bro, my favorite part. 
Bro, I don't believe that guy took a two-year break. <laughs> nah, man, I ain't believing it. Yeah, um, but anyways, bro. that's talent for you. Bro, that's good music, man. Yeah, thank you. That's yeah. good music. Um, so the EP's out? Yeah. No, it's not out. When is it coming? Please um, tell us about October that. October 20th. So oh. this EP, the title is Butterfly Season. And I mean, I see my journey from 2017. So now as me okay, like the cocoon, cocoon opening stage, up, okay. you know, yeah, the caterpillar phase where like sense. I've made friends, I've made bad friends, good friends, yeah. I've signed um, bad deals, good deals. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've learned a whole lot and yeah. I feel like this is the time where I'm not a fully grown butterfly where I can spread my wings, you know, be as colorful as I can, yeah. um, spread love, um, spread good vibes basically. So. This butterfly season for me, Ofer. Yeah. Um, this is this is an opportunity for my fans to also understand who Ofer really is. Because um, if you take my first song, Let It Go, to like my last song, Believe, before I dropped this one, you you could tell like variations in there. Yeah. And bro, come on, we started dancing before I started rapping and I started singing. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's it's been a whole cocktail a lot of, of growth, right? You get a lot of things happening. So I don't want to just you know put myself in one place. I just want like to broaden my fan base to have my fans also have like a whole different taste of me at every mm. single point. So it's just like different shades of affair basically on mm. on a six track EP and the deluxe would follow a month after like two nice. more songs in addition. So no more breaks. No more breaks. That's I'm what back. I'm saying. For real. I'm no back. more breaks. <laughs> yeah, I was saying they said the same thing. So it was good to you know yeah, bro, have our artists bro, constantly bro, release bro. music. No more, no more so more break. music, more performances. December's coming. Gonna yeah, be lit. Man. Yeah, man. Gonna yeah, be man. Lit. I mean, I had my first. You see, ironically, <laughs> I had my first December show, like my own headline show, um, first December last year. And I decided to just do it with 100 fans, right? Okay. Uh, and I was charging 100 Ghana City Saturdays. I was trying to be a bit, you know. I was like, okay, I had not dropped anything in a while, but I wanted to see how well my fans mm. loved me. We did it at Oliver Twist. Big shout out to Oliver Twist. Bro, the place was packed. We had okay. more than... I mean, we had, why we, am I surprised? We had this more than 100. Talent. We had more than 100 people. It was supposed to be an intimate show with just 100 Holy people. Holy smokes. And all my friends, all like, you know yeah, our friends yeah, now, sure all now, the right? artists showed up, seen us so, yeah. to Lake K, all yeah, these yeah, artists. And the love was massive, man. Nice, and man. imagine this year, they dropped my EP. So imagine So how, it might happen again. Of course. Please, it I will. have to be there. <laughs> I have to be there, bro. When are we working on something? Bro. It has to happen. Just call long me. overdue. Just call that's me. Too long. <laughs> Charlie call Ofe, me. man. I'm so proud of you. So Thank proud you of your so journey. Much, bro. So that song's on all platforms. Yeah, it's on all platforms. It's on all platforms. Okay. Ayaya Ofe. Ayaya. Yeah, produced by Baba Wood, bro. Much love. The video was shot by Kwame Koda too as well. Okay. Much love to all these guys. Nice. Very talented guys. Baba Wood is my producer. Okay. He's he's very talented. Trust okay. me. Like. I go, I go link you yeah. up with Sam. I'll like, send you a chorus today. Sure. For an idea bro. I have. Um, damn. Um, yeah, that's, that, that, that's it. You know, this is the music, <laughs> this creativity. <laughs> um, so October 20th, mm -hmm. Butterfly Season is out there. It's out He's going to be posting it every single day. Of course. Until it's out. Of and course. please, when it is, um, come, let's talk. Let's catch a vibe. Oh, um, can't wait to get more music videos I'll invite for you. you guys to the listening, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. first. <laughs> um, we do have to yeah, let you go. Yeah, but yeah, again, yeah. I'm so proud of my brother, Fame. We always Thank see him talk about support, support, support. How do we actually support through conversations like this, you, through sir. buying the music, through getting the views up, through going to the events? Because, you know, I always say it's a whole circle. That's how we get the music videos. Mm -hmm. That's how we get the artists that can fly, the international mm -hmm. collaborations, the traveling, That's and all good. of these things. So, again, to my brother, so very Thank proud you, of you. Bro. Thank Same, you guys bro. so much for tuning in. Have a very wonderful afternoon. I'll be here Wednesday, same time. Salute. Yeah.